My name's Neralee Abram. I'm an ice core scientist and I work with the British Antarctic Survey. And the reason that I work on ice cores is that they're an amazing way of going back and looking at what the Earth's climate was like in the past. And that gives us information on how the Earth's climate is changing now and how it might change in the future. When you get to a field site in Antarctica, there's nothing there. The people who go to Antarctica and do these sorts of jobs are scientists, but once you get into the field, you're pretty much everything. So you need to build your camp, you become a carpenter, you become an electrical engineer, you're a cook. You have to be able to uh, be very self-sufficient to make the project a success. The drill works on a winch. So when we lower the drill down, we drill about a metre and a half of ice and then we bring that to the surface and we lower the drill back down again and drill the next metre and a half of ice. And we keep on repeating that process over and over again until we reach the bottom of the ice sheet. When we drill down through the ice sheet, we're drilling further and further back in time. We drilled an ice core that was 364 metres long and the ice that we recovered from the bottom of that ice core is over 20,000 years old. This is a part of Antarctica where climate is changing really quickly at the moment and the temperature has warmed by over two degrees in the last 50 years. We're seeing glaciers flowing faster than they have in the past, ice shelves are collapsing. When we cut open the ice we can see these bubbles of ancient atmosphere that have been trapped inside the ice ever since it formed over Antarctica. And we can actually measure the composition of that ancient atmosphere and it's through measuring the greenhouse gases from the bubbles in ice cores that we get this clearest link between what the temperature of the earth has been like in the past and the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And that allows us to have a better understanding of how the climate is changing now and how it might continue to change in the future. Mm -hmm.